tutorial series. This is Nabil Zishan and today I'm going to show you how to reduce the file size of a very heavy PDF or a very very large PDF. For this example we will use this particular PDF and let's see what the size looks like. So I'm going to right click it and get info. If you're using Windows you're going to right click and do properties. So we can see that it's approximately 15 MB or 14.6 MB. So what are the steps that we can take to reduce the file size considerably? The first thing we need to do is open the application and for this uh, in this example instead of using Adobe Reader we will use Adobe Acrobat Pro. If you don't have it you can request technology or your local IT to install it for you. So let's open the application. So here I have Adobe Acrobat Pro or I'm going to right click the file open with Adobe Acrobat Pro. So here we can see the PDF consists of various text and also some images and these are basically screenshots of the application or the site that they're trying to showcase. So what will we do? What are some of the steps? The first thing we would need to do is go to the top menu file and under the save as option you will see optimize PDF. So click on that and this will show you a built-in PDF optimizer in Adobe Acrobat Pro and it gives you various options of downsampling images, discarding various PDF objects and so on. We will go through each example one by one. So under in the left hand column you see various categories. For images, click on images and you will see image settings and you can leave it as is uh, but you can play around with the JPEG quality. This is basically image settings and compression of JPEGs and colors and so on. So what you can do is leave Bubic downsampling to just use this option always. Make sure all three of them have the same option. And compression is JPEG. That's your compression type. But you can play around with uh, the PPI or the quality. If you're not sure you know how to play around with the PPI or um, uh, that's basically points per inch, simply work out work, work around the quality drop down and you can see if you click on the quality drop down you will see various options the JPEG quality being minimum low medium you can choose medium but in this case we will in this case we will use high because I don't want the image quality to affect too much or, or, or to downgrade too much so we'll just choose high and even this will really reduce the file size from 14 MB to around uh, 3 MB we'll see so let's leave it to high uh, and leave the settings 150 and the last one monochrome images. Let's leave it to, to 300. So don't 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 change these particular numbers, but just work with work within the quality dropdown. After that, uh, for fonts, we can leave it as is. But many times PDFs have embedded fonts. In this case, that's uh, that's that's not the case. Under discard objects, uh, make sure that discard all alternate images. Uh, many times, uh, uh, folks or designers use alternate images uh, for better quality images and and various device compatibility. But you can click on that. Feel free. Uh, to choose other options, to check other options, it it's, it depends on you know what applies to your PDF. But you can leave it as default uh, for discard objects under discard user data. Uh, you can you can of course feel free to choose various options, but you, know, you can leave it empty. That's also fine. The important tab is the cleanup tab, and for cleanup, please make sure that all these options are selected: discard invalid links, discard invalid bookmarks optimize and, and the last two uh, check boxes are very important optimize page content that usually optimizes various objects within the page the typography and so on and then optimize the PDF for fast web view make sure this is selected This is the most important uh, uh, option that you can select that will considerably reduce the file size and uh, that is pretty much it you will hit OK and it's going to give you a save as save optimize as dialog box or a save as dialog box we will call it test-mz. We'll save it on the desktop, hit save. Uh, you will see a prompt processing images, processing all the compression options that you just selected. So give it a few seconds and it will save a new copy of this particular PDF. Okay, so it has been saved. Uh, uh, so test-mz and you can see that the image quality is still very good. It's not as, uh, it's, it's not the best uh, compared to, uh, uh, it's not equal to what you saw on the original PDF but but it's very very reasonable uh, uh, and we can open the original PDF as well as this converted PDF side by side but let's look at the file size first so this is the test underscore MZ get info 
and we can see that the file size is now 2.4 MB. So from 14.6 MB, uh, the file size now is 2.4 MB. Now let's compare the two PDFs side by side. So this is the test one, and this is the original one. And you can see that there's not much of a difference, uh, especially when it comes to typography. Uh, let's scroll down to uh, uh, an image, so page number 5, and we will go to page 5 in the original PDF. And you can see that the images are not uh, uh, greatly affected. You know, it looks the same, the quality is the same. Uh, if we, of course, increase the size to 150, zoom to 150, you can better look at the images, and, and it's pretty good. It's very decent. So hopefully uh, you can see how easy it is to optimize a PDF size and reduce it uh, to, a, to a very smaller size so it's easier to email and, and upload into various databases. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.